the Government Communication and Information System, you'll know the acronym I'm sure, GCIS, in partnership with the Tswane University of Technology is hosting its fourth annual Women in Media and Communication discussion. This year's focus is going to be on cyberbullying of female journalists and gender-based violence. It meets under the theme of navigating social media spaces safely. It's a toxic environment, especially for women in media and journalists. And we'll talk about one of our own journalists in just a moment. Joined by GCIS's Nomonde Unukwa, making time this morning. Nomonde, hello to you. Good to have you with us uh, on ENCA. It's such an important discussion to have. Why this year? Why go after the social media space? Good morning. Good morning, and thank you very much, and good morning to the viewers. Um, the communication and the media environment has developed so much. I think we're more on various platforms, particularly on digital platforms, to ensure a real-time communication. And social media becomes the core because uh, the number of people they get to get their news from the social media, which is why we decided to focus on the uh, particular cyberbullying and, and digital platforms, because that's where news uh, platforms, if I can say, or communication is navigating and going through uh, to reach the listeners in every way. Because for social media, people, they don't necessarily need to have their uh, big TV screens or to have their radios with them from their phones. That's where they normally communicate. Yeah, and one of the people that's going to be talking uh, and giving a presentation uh, at the event is our own Slindelo Masakane. And I think if anyone knows uh, the kind of toxic, uh, the toxicity that can be experienced on social media, it probably is Sli. And it's because of the nature of the stories that she covers. She's not just the only journalist here at ENCA that gets a lot of trouble uh, on social media, but she's the one joining you. And I think it's, it's great to get her on because it's first-hand experience, isn't it? It, it is first-hand experience, and particularly because um, we realize that there hasn't been much education. We got into the social media platforms without creating awareness in terms of what is right, what is expected, and what is wrong. And therefore, instead of us using the social media platform just for our own development and getting a, a, a on-time information, uh, we see the un, 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 ex, un, unexpected and unwelcomed behaviors. And people, they tend to bully, and people, they tend to even uh, uh, divest their anger through, yeah. the, the, uh, through the messengers of, in, of information. Mm, yeah, I know. It's uh, the kind of abuse I think anyone who works in the media space uh, goes through, but I think especially those who cover, and this is something I hope Slendelo talks about, especially those journalists that cover politics uh, as a focus as well. Slendelo Masakane is one of those. Of course, we have uh, Aviwe Mtila, we have Sipaman Lagoge, we have, uh, we have uh, Moloko Moloto, one of the other journalists, take a lot of flack uh, because of the way they cover government work. So so what are you hoping comes out of this, though? Because it's one thing to have a discussion, Namonde. It's quite something else to put something in place to actually change it. What's going to be the, the action coming out, of this, coming out of this conference? We're hoping, first of all, that um, there will be awareness that will be created um, and far-reaching as many uh, people as possible. But also we're hoping that the content itself will enrich um, the, the processes that government would have to embark on in terms of creating protocols, in terms of also creating um, legislation or policies if necessary. But we are also hoping that this will be the beginning of the many um, information sessions that would be held across the country. Um, if I can share with you that on the 29th of August, we already have in the Portfolio Committee uh, on Communications hosting a symposium uh, around the misinformation and disinformation because some of the behaviors that we see in the social media platform, mm. they are based on lack of awareness, lack of um, uh, the facts in terms of what people would be talking to. So instead of engaging on the content that is being discussed, people, they start to engage people on a personal basis, and that's where the issues of abuse and, and, and uh, discrimination come, come in.
Absolutely. I couldn't agree with you more. And I see the event getting underway uh, this morning, uh, 25th of August at 9 o'clock, uh, as well. Our own Slendela Masakana going to be part of that discussion, going to be one of those uh, talking about bullying on social media. It has been rough for her and a few others, including our Heidi Jockos on social media. It's such an important discussion to have, and I'm glad you're having it. Uh, and Namonde Nokwa, all the best with uh, the event. It is this morning. The hashtag is, it's quite long, but it's a good hashtag, uh, hashtag woman in media and comms, and it looks like you can can go and find the event, the live streaming links on uh, YouTube. Just look for Government ZA uh, and also on Facebook. Namonde, thank you very much. All the best with the event.